Not 20 metres from where I am painting below the garden bank, pukekos are nesting and rearing young. This purple swamp hen or moorhen may have arrived with the Polynesians. Another theory that it flew from Australia is interesting because these birds are clumsy flyers and sometimes have difficulty clearing a fence. There is no doubting their relationship to this native fur, the takahe, a large flightless bird that was thought extinct for 150 years but rediscovered in 1948. It, like many other New Zealand birds, hovers on the brink of extinction. When a species falls to such low numbers, genetic viability can be a problem. A small gene pool may lead to inbreeding. Takahe already have fertility problems and disease or some other factor could easily push this extraordinary bird over the edge. Sadly, New Zealanders have become used to visiting their native wildlife on offshore islands and fenced reserves. In predator-free conditions, as is the case here, on the island reserve of Tiri Tiri Matangi, some species show a remarkable ability to bounce back. The New Zealand quail was known to science for only around 25 years before becoming extinct. Those on Tiri Tiri Matangi were thought to be a remnant population, but genetic analysis proved them to be an Australian introduction. Sadly, the New Zealand quail is lost to us. The North Island Kakako, on the other hand, shows breeding success on Tiri and can still be found in a few North Island forests. But Kakaka are poor flyers and predation is an ever-present concern. The Saddleback is a conservation success story. Safe from the brink of extinction, it exists on several offshore islands, but bird malaria remains a threat. Yet another remarkable New Zealand bird, 